morning commute just became more informative. Pro Football Talk Live with Mike Florio. Weekday mornings on NBC Sports Radio AM 1060. Did you miss any of the Sports Zone? Then head to NBCSports1060.com slash podcasts for the full replays of the Sports Zone. You're looking good, though. I'm excited because the players like Austin Mack and all of them. So you're coming out of the break. You got to know when that red light comes on, that's when you're supposed to talk. You're messing up my breaks, G. I'm bad, man. You can't, just, you can't just start running your mouth. Back on the Last Day Radio Network, a little bit of MF Doom. I'm going to do my show about the, the best hip-hop records and hip-hop artists of all time. I mean, people know that I'm an MF Doom disciple. I listen to his music, uh, really support him. Um, he has, a, he has a, a list of instrumental tapes out called Special Herbs and Spices. I would suggest that those who claim to be hip-hop aficionados cop that joint. We only have a couple of minutes left. I couldn't, since we're from Columbus, Ohio, I, I know this is the, the home of the Arizona State football program and, and baseball program, and, and I'm not anti-Sun Devil, but we got to talk some Ohio State football. Yes, I'm very excited. The spring game was just a, a couple of weeks ago. I'm very excited to have Dwayne Haskins. Now, yes. you know from talking off air, I'm not a JT Barrett fan. I think yeah, that JT no. Barrett... It's kind of equivalent of you were born on third base and think that you hit a triple. So <laughs> he was quarterback of Ohio State. But the truth is, every time you line up, your center is better than the other person. Your your offensive line is better. You have better receivers. You have better uh, running backs. He was handing the ball to number 15. 15. Now, I mean, come, come on. on. He was handing the ball to Zeke. I could have handed easy. the ball to Zeke. It's a pretty easy I, job. I could have went eight and four <laughs> handed the ball to Zeke. So that's a pretty easy job. But – when you look at Haskins, Haskins came in. They were losing to Ann Arbor Community College. Ann Arbor Community Ch- College choked like they always do oh, when they yeah. play Ohio State. He had a couple of really big plays. And Haskins is the first pocket quarterback. You know, he's a real pro-style yeah. quarterback. He's not an Urban Meyer like a Tebow or a Barrett where they run that play where they run him up the middle. It. Haskins is going to take the three-step drop, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. He's going to get the ball out. So I'm excited about that, and I'm excited – about the running back tandem, you know, having Dobbins coming back. Um, I think that that Dobbins is going to have a really breakout year. And then and having Mike Weber, who is probably not as good as he hoped he was going to be, but is an excellent third down back. He has a job in the NFL in right. three years. What do, you think about, what do you think about the Scarlet and Gray, man? How are we looking? Man, from the spring game, I think it gives us a better opportunity to be Sort of, you know, like most teams would know what you would get from Ohio State and try to stop him and beat that. I think it makes him more versatile now because mm-hmm. Haskins, although he does stand in that pocket and delivers, he can move too, you know, like he, he has an arm. You he's can got stretch, a cannon. He's got a cannon, right. boy. He can stretch that defense now. Right. A lot of play action. Right. You got K.J. Hill. You got Victor Benjamin. I think that Austin that offense Mack. is, is, is going to be. That offense is going to be explosive this year. Shape. In the air. That Ohio State offense, we used to see where one game they probably won 58 to nothing, and then the other game they can't even get the ball down 20 yards. I think you're going to see a whole new offense. So what do you think about Ohio State's prospects to be a legitimate? Are we we a legitimate national title contender this year? I think the first few games of this season are going to show that, depending on how consistent they look. They have TCU coming to the shoe. Now I'm not right. I'm not, and it's funny. I do a I do a um, top five that are alive. I've I've done it on sports frauds in college. TCU is on my list of sports frauds in college. I don't have any respect for TCU at all. Um, there I'm not. I don't have as much disdain for them as I have for Auburn, as I call fraud burn. Right. But TCU does not scare me. That said. You got to go in. You got to crush them. You got to get on top yeah. of them early. You got to let them know that they don't have the physicality. They don't have the size. They don't have the strength. If you let a team like TCU hang around and think that they can win the game, they run lose. a very gimmicky, kooky offense. They have an opportunity to to pull an upset. I think if Ohio State comes in, lines it up in the I formation, smashes Punch them, them the punches mouth. them in the mouth, it's over. runs the ball, I think they'll be up 21-0 and then they'll coast. If they get out there and try to get cute with it, it could be problems. Yeah. Remember the national, national championship. Who do we play? Oregon. That's how they were to right. me. They seem the same. They're too small up front. If you come in there, muscle them up, and run straight down, punch them in the mouth, you should have the game. But 
We've seen Ohio State do that before, you know, like. Now, maybe you can answer, and I have to, I've been told repeatedly by listeners to the show in the Phoenix area, we only have a, a minute and a half. I don't know anything about Pac-12 football at all. So I've, I've, I've seen a couple of UCLA games. I mean, I watched USC back in the Reggie Bush days. What's the difference between football out here as, as football in the Midwest, what, what we're accustomed to seeing? Um, to me, I think you have more physicality. They have more speed here for sure. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a lot. In Pac-12, you know, a lot of speed, a lot of misdirection, a lot of tricks. But uh, out in the Midwest, it's more downhill, smash physical, mouth. smash mm-hmm. mouth. If you don't come to play and you're not physical, you're going to get ran down. The Big mm-hmm. Ten is a physical conference. Yeah, I agree. No matter what everybody thinks, look at how bowl games have come. Remember what, what, what was it last year? Yeah, Michigan was the only one to fold. Yeah, Pac-10 was was one and eight. In they bowl were one and eight. Last year, man. They, they were really, one and really eight. Struggled. They were terrible too. Well, it's been great having you on the show, G man. It's uh, we're gonna have to do this again. Like oh, I said, yeah, definitely. I'm so proud of the man that you've become. I'm excited about your wedding and, and just seeing you grow and matriculate. Um, you know we. We'll, we'll continue to chop it up. Anytime you want to come in the show and just kick it, just let me know. Um, you know, let's roll out, man. Let's go out and get some Buffalo Wings. Let's be out. Definitely, man. All right. It was a pleasure. Next week, best of. I'll be out of town for Memorial Day. Lance J Radio Network, NBC Sports Radio. If you are an athlete or a member of the hip-hop community and would like to be featured on the Lance J Radio Network, please contact our business manager, Patrick Green of Greenbacks, Inc. at area code 646-768-6188 or our publicist, Dia Davis of Exquisite Marketing at area code 562-241-2461. The Lance J Radio Show is taped at the KDUS NBC Sports Studios in Phoenix, Arizona.